All right, let's do another did one. Did okay. we get a Shy Ryan elixir? We did get a Shy Rye elixir, if I'm not mistaken. Because I was looking forward to seeing some Shy Rye. Apparently, there's not one here. Let me get pull. Let me just do a quick pull. There we go. Because there could be a CPP's lot more. CPP sponge, man. There we go. Uh, elixir. I swear there was a Shy Ryan one, right? Uh, elixir. Is it just still in PR mode? Or did did they merge it all into one elixir? I, I don't think they merged it into one elixir. I'm a little disappointed. Shy Rye, where was your elixir? All right, so let's find one more. What's what's another one? Do we have an? Do you have any wants? Oh my goodness, there is Groovy. Okay. Oh, I there's have, a Jai one. That'd I, be interesting. We well, should look at Groovy because of yeah, your history. I have a history with Groovy, so I haven't yeah. looked at Groovy in all <laughs> openness. I have not looked at Groovy since I found and discovered a new type of DOS attack called the Repulsive Grizzly attack in 2016. So it's been a <laughs> long time since I've looked at Groovy, but I believe Groovy stopped upgrading after. 236 so i should just be able to understand this straight up okay all right i'm excited so we got some very very screamy token types love it love it yep we got a class i mean come on it's java it, based there's a lot of classes yeah. well they they have the token scream at you because then it you can relate to the code more because like you're screaming at the code when you're writing groovy this is true this is true all right null character equal sign position read okay so this is all pretty much <laughs> What you would expect, right? <laughs> Nothing like a, just, I just love seeing so many keywords at the top of a class. Private, final, static. <laughs> <laughs> I like that there's both a static and a final and a private on yeah. here. I'm not well, sure like, what, because final means that it, can, it, it, it it's can't be changed. It's closed, right? It's, it can no yeah, longer right. be inherited. You can't override its value. But isn't that yeah. also what private means? Like I in this know. case, private static means that only this class can look at this variable but then it's saying it's a constant too maybe i don't know i and think it's saying exists it's a constant. at the class level so what the heck is final at this point no not a constant chat's saying no i don't know i just like that it takes about out of your 80 characters that you have about half of them get taken <laughs> up before we can write the identifier <laughs> okay there's a lot of qualifiers you have to do no reassignment okay so if it if it was just private static you could reassign what zero means so Got you're it. just saying this is a non okay 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 cool all right these are always the same these all look great yep they did i thought we were looking at parsers today. look at that Ooh, look at that little bad boy right there you like that one okay what is happening <laughs> do you know that syntax is that old yeah 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 yeah, yeah. this is uh, the equivalent in javascript of the double question okay it effectively means like this um, if it's not defined this got it okay Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, did I just read this wrong? I think I just read this wrong. Okay, no, I didn't read it wrong. E either it's a keyword I think that's good. or it's an identifier. Yes, I read that right. Mm -hmm. Groovy, they're not even okay. using any of the fun syntax with Groovy. Where's all the fun syntax? Did you know that you can add two maps together by using the plus sign? Nice. Yeah. Operator overloading. Nothing Never like some... bit anybody in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Never had any problems. <laughs> all right, so there we go. So we got a little little ternary expression. This is pretty much just. This is pretty much just Java. I honestly, if you just showed me this, I would not have known that it was not Java. Yeah. Character zero in this. Return character zero in this. I literally have no idea how this works. It's saying, okay, so we've got a string, and we're checking in the first position of the string. Is this thing in, and then we're going to run time, oh, smush those together. Zero is literally zero. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't use the number zero there. <laughs> it's like classic Java. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, what the hell? I can't that... trust anybody to write the number zero. Yeah, that's... This is Java. <laughs> that's a magic number right there, buddy. Okay, nobody whoa. knows what that means. Hey, if you just put zero there, how will I know that it's supposed to be zero? Yeah. <laughs> I want to know some meaning behind this zero. I love it because usually you're supposed to name this as like... Something, you know, usually whenever you do these magic number conversions, it's supposed to make something that kind of like makes more sense. Right. But mm -hmm. I literally read zero the same way I read zero. Right? Like, yes, there, I, know. I literally can't saying. read it That's... any other way. It actually makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've seen all I need to see of, of Groovy. Uh, yeah. Okay. There you go. This is nice though. I always like that about Groove, right? You can do a nice little like map. Definition. Oh, interesting. The yeah. map syntax is with uh, square brackets, though, huh? Yeah, that's because it's groovy. It's always almost something, but in the end, <laughs> it's really painful, right? It's always, like, <laughs> almost the same. Prime, 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 prime. Go quick, uh, change zero to one. 
I like uh, it. And then push, but don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be that guy. You realize how rude that would be if I ended up doing that? <laughs> I, I refuse. I refuse to do that. That would. I mean, maybe I should do that, but I'm not doing it. Okay, that'd be completely rude. <laughs> don't there, tell him. There's two groovies. There's also what the hell is groovy C? <laughs> Is there like what what is Groovy C? Do you know what that is? Maybe it's a different person. Oh yeah, this like, is looking we've up. had we've had people who can't agree on how to write them together, so they just make their own new ones. Yeah, yeah. I I said that's probably the best way cuz the the problem yeah. okay, it all looks the same. Uh but the problem yeah, But the, we're the, looking at Lexers. I thought we were going to move on to parsers today. No, we can't move on to parsers cuz I haven't written the parser yet. Oh, okay, gotcha. I haven't. I mean, nice. I have then a good idea. Let's look at closure. Okay, let's look at closure. I like we'll the idea. We'll just do of the JVM traversal. You know, TJ's a monster. What do you guys feel about Groovy? How, <laughs> how does everyone feel about Groovy? What's the so Prime? You actually wrote Groovy. What like what can you do in Groovy that you can't do in Java? Okay, so this uh, Groovy, uh, the other guy conceded their elixir to me. Oh, okay, okay. So you you are the owner. Okay, so oh, you nice. are the so we can okay, check okay. elixir for real then. Uh, nice. So the reason why you used Groovy was back in the day. Um, I can tell you two reasons why. I can tell you why people would use Groovy and why Netflix chose Groovy. Okay, are you ready? Okay, nice. One of them is yeah. definitely more insulting than the other one. Uh, so th <laughs> the reason why you'd use Groovy is back in the day it was like Java eight, Java seven, Java six, and so there Different wasn't things world. like closures back then. You couldn't, you know, like Java was really inconvenient to use. It's, it's much better now, right? People love Java at this point, but back then mm -hmm. it made some sense to use Groovy. Maybe uh, I would argue it was, a, it was a really terrible experience. And so all they did was they'd literally take your closure. They would create an anonymous class with an anonymous function and then call that anonymous class and that anonymous function with every variable that was captured within the scope and the things you were passing to it or expected to be passed to it. So it did like effectively did fake closures, right? Um, nice. But why did Netflix choose it is because someone said, them, them dumb JavaScript engineers only understand languages like JavaScript. Let's use Groovy on the back end. That's not ironic. That is literally what happened. But isn't, but isn't Groovy just Java? It is just Java. <laughs> and it is also not Java and significantly harder. And so now we had people writing what looked like RxJS code in Groovy on the back end. I kid you not, I was sitting with some of the best engineers I know and they would just look at it and go, I don't want to learn Groovy, what do I do? And I'd go, okay, well I spent 20 minutes and I learned what Groovy does. Hey, nice. use a flat map. And they're like, why do you use a flat map? And I'm like, you know RX? And they're like, no, I'm like, don't worry, just use a flat map. And so then all of a sudden I just started seeing flat map throughout the entire code base. Everything was a flat map. <laughs> I'm like, guys, you don't, you don't want to use a flat map always. Like, that's not what you actually want to do. Our code had, like, a special extra little bit on it that was, like, if it's not uh, an observable coming in, just treat it like a just map. Just do a return it right just, away. Yeah, just, just, just treat it like a map. And so then it was, like, <laughs> flat map just worked, so everything became a flat map. And it was just, like, dear sweetness, this is just – no one has nice. any idea what to do. And so then you'd also okay, nice. you'd see a lot of like chained requests like get this thing flat map get this thing flat map get this thing flat map when you could have just done them all at once right like it was just it was just the worst thing ever. I okay. don't know. 